Hi, I'm Dieter Feek. I'm the owner of Paint Etc. and I'm going to talk to you about painting the exterior of your home. People ask us all the time what color they should use when painting the outside of their home. We usually recommend to consider the ordinance of the neighborhood. Most neighborhoods have an HOA which mandates what color their home should be. However, sometimes depending on the type of home that you have or the style, you could venture out a little bit and use a little bolder colors. If you're considering putting your home on the market, you generally want to stay with a neutral color. Most people see anything louder than a neutral color as very taste specific and it may be a turn off to a potential buyer. One of the primary things that you want to consider when painting the outside of your home is longevity. The original paint job that you had on your home can affect the longevity of your new paint job. If the house wasn't primed and given two coats of paint when it was originally built, it will ultimately affect any new coat of paint that you apply on top. If the original coat fails, it will pull the new coat with it. You want to take weather into consideration when you're painting your home. Most people don't know that you can actually paint as low as 35 degrees. That's the surface temperature of the house, not the temperature outside. Now as far as longevity is concerned on the paint job itself, that's going to be mandated by the product that you use and also the weather that affects your home. If your house is affected by the sun on the front, most of the time it's going to bake the paint. If the side of your house is getting a lot of wind that kicks against it, that's also going to fade the paint. When you're painting the outside of your house, you want to take a few simple steps to make sure that you get the best quality job that you can. One of the biggest misconceptions is that you must pressure wash your house. You don't actually pressure wash. You're actually just giving the house a bath. You're lightly rinsing it with a cleaning agent to make sure that it's clean before you actually get to work on it. So after you've cleaned it, then you can start prepping. When you start prepping the house, you actually want to scrape off as much loose paint off the home before you work on it. This is so that way if that paint is actually coming loose or peeling, it won't peel your paint job once you're done. After you're done with that, you want to caulk every nook and cranny of the home. This means siding seams if you have it, trim joints, windows, doors, anything that will keep water away from your wood because if water gets in, it'll rot. People call and tell me, do you paint by hand? I was like, well, we can. It just costs a lot more money. Actually, to be specific, what I tell my homeowners at home is that we actually do 70-30. 70% of your home is actually painted with a sprayer. The other 30% is painted by hand, which is just like narrow surfaces like windows, casings, things like that. But the broad parts of your home are actually done with a sprayer. If you're trying to consider the longevity of the exterior paint of your home, you want to take a few things into consideration. One, the product that you use. If you use a premium product, you should get three to five years. Two is the weather. If your house gets a lot of sun, it's going to weather faster. And sometimes actually you want to take into consideration the color. The darker the color, the more heat it absorbs and it'll fade faster. I hope it's been educational. So if you're considering painting the outside of your home, make sure you also consider the people, the process, and the product.